You guys, these were so, so good. Starting with the ingredients, we have ground nutmeg, allspice, and cinnamon, cloves, and ginger. In this bowl, we have one cup of light brown sugar and one cup of white granulated sugar. Keep in mind, I'm only using two sweet potatoes. I'm not feeding the Thanksgiving dinner this time, so adjust your measurements accordingly. I'm gonna start by chopping off the head and the foot of the sweet potato. I am using a knife to skin the sweet potatoes because I do not have a proper peeler. However, that is safer for your fingers, so please be safe. Here, I'm using my knife to gently peel the skin off of the sweet potato. We want a bald sweet potato, no skin spaces left. You also want to do that to both sweet potatoes. These ones were sort of extra large, so it took me a while to get the skin off, but please be careful. Definitely avoid your fingers at all costs. Here is our second sweet potato, or yam, I don't know. Do you guys call sweet potatoes and yams the same thing? I low-key think they're different, just part of the same family. Comment down below what you think. Here you'll see me slicing the sweet potato into circles, little rounds that are about an inch thick. You're gonna wanna do this over and over again until both of your sweet potatoes are completely sliced. Like so. The thickness of your sweet potato slice is completely up to you. I would say I like mine pretty medium sliced, but that's also so I can get a good bite, but also have a great sweetness to potato ratio. Yams. I mean yams. <laughs> because I only have two sweet potatoes, I am using a smaller pot today, so you will see me cut them again. So to slice them and then also cut them in half just so they can fit in the pot better. As well as fitting on my fork and on my plate when it's time to chow down, you know? And just like that, we did it. This is how your sweet potatoes should be looking at this stage. Nice and orange and ready for some heat. You're gonna wanna turn your pan on to medium heat to start this process. Also adding two tablespoons of water to your pot just to make sure they don't stick to the bottom. I'm also using a nonstick pan which will help you when it's time to wash the dishes. Trust me. Into our pot, I'm gonna put one layer of our pre-candied yams, covering as much space as we can. Now with that one cup of light brown sugar, we're gonna sprinkle in in an even layer about a third of the cup. I ended up with about three layers of sweet potato, so definitely eyeball as you go and be cognizant of how much sugar to sweet potatoes you have left. Now that our layer is evenly coated, we're gonna go in with the white granulated sugar and sprinkle on about the same amount as the brown sugar. I also added a pinch of salt. Please do not over salt these candied yams. These are supposed to be sweet, not savory. And now we're back again for the second layer of sweet potato. Another layer of brown sugar. Another layer of white sugar. Now this layer is a little different. We're gonna add some spice, starting with our ground cinnamon, some ground allspice, and ground nutmeg. I probably added about a teaspoon of each of these spices to our pot. Keep in mind, it should be on medium heat this whole time. Now for our third layer of sweet potato. Can anyone guess what's next? Yep, right back in with that light brown sugar. Now the white sugar, our special spices, the cinnamon, the allspice, and the nutmeg. These were just my last few sweet potatoes that were almost left behind, but we made space for them too. At this point, I turned my heat up to medium high just to get it cooking a little bit better. Also putting our lid on to collect the heat and the steam. Please don't put your lid all the way on the pot because it does need space to breathe. This is what we're looking like about eight minutes into cooking. You'll see me flip the top sweet potatoes as we go. 
really to make sure that we're not burning at the bottom and also to spread the wealth because our top sweet potatoes need to cook and be gently candied as well. This is what we're looking like now after about 15 minutes of cooking. All of the liquid, all of the sugar in the pot should now be liquid at the bottom or on its way. You see that bubbling on the side? That is perfect for what we're looking for. After cooking for a little longer, I still had a little bit of that cup of sugar left on the side, so I decided to add it to the pot as well, as well as some more cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg. At this point is where I also added in the ground ginger. Enough to taste and add dimension to our sweet potatoes. Maybe you should smell it a little bit before you add it to your pot just to see exactly how much you would want to add. Ginger can be strong and we don't want to overpower our dish. Mm, quick pause for that sugar bubbling and our candied yams being candied. To further expand our flavors, I also added some ground cloves. This step is optional. Now we're gonna sit back and let those yams candy. Make sure to leave your lid cracked when you're not flipping the yams or adding flavoring. After another about five minutes, this is what we're looking like. Again, just gonna flip those top yams. I also do flip around the sides and the bottom just to make sure the top yams are getting as cooked and candied as the bottom. Be careful here because some of the yams at the bottom are cooked and soft, meaning they'll mash on you also. And we want full yams, not casserole. We're gonna put our lid back on and let the yams cook for the rest of the time. Again, leaving space for air and also making sure that our pot does not boil over. After another five minutes, this is where we are. Let's get a nice little close up for these candied yams. Getting closer and closer to being done. We're gonna let them cook for another five minutes or so just because I like my yams to be a little stickier than they are right now. In the meantime, we're gonna add a few cubes of butter and let it melt for added flavor. Altogether, this was two tablespoons. Don't stir the butter in, just let it melt. I know you thought we were done there, but not yet. So what I did was transfer our sweet potatoes into a different pot, but because I still wanted them to be just a little stickier, I left all the juice in the pot and cooked it for longer. It got thicker and became the consistency we needed for these perfectly candied yams. Mmm, you see that glaze? And there we have it. The candied yams perfect for any holiday meal, family get together, or your own personal plate and fork. These are great for any season and will definitely be the talk at your next Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you'll be serving for your family dinner. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.